but last night I was just so dead even though I got a four hours sleep my eyes were just shutting then I'm not going to go try um what fruit did you try yesterday uh, Duran. Duran how was it <laughs> was it that bad I didn't actually try it it wasn't that bad it just stunk like, yeah, it really smell. So also here in Asia, you're not allowed to bring the fruit duran into the rooms or hotels. You're not allowed to bring it upstairs. It wasn't that bad, but yeah. the Chinese can't take fruit that bad. These got said that it tastes better than it smells. It's a lie. Bro. No, it doesn't taste better than it smells. Yeah, hotels don't allow you to take it in. That's why the guy was asking downstairs. It generally you could smell it. Yeah, you're not allowed to bring it in. I didn't end up trying it. I was just too tired and uh, I just wasn't in the mood. Here in Malaysia, duran is the king of fruit. Um, it's their main fruit, so um, I've actually never tried it myself, but maybe I will have to in this trip just because it's for the performance. Um, what did we do yesterday anyway? We ended up heading to the mall, went to TGI Fridays to eat. Was not the greatest option just because um, there was better options downstairs in the food court, which we found out later with a lot more options and cheaper food options. And then the TGI made everyone's belly run. I was alright because I got dry stuff, but they, uh, everyone else didn't like it. But it was a lot cheaper than the UK. Usually I'm getting one meal for like £20, whereas here in TGI I was getting a meal for £10. For us, compared to the UK, it's a lot more cheaper. And then we went to a, walked to a 7-Eleven. I got some noodles for the kids, some um, drinks. Um, I didn't get too much just because we, we were only in this Airbnb for one night. Then we came home, Cairo fell asleep, but he woke up as soon as we got in and it was just, yeah, a nightmare after that. I actually should wake him up now, to be honest. What's the time? I think Cairo kept my shut up. No, I told everyone to be up and ready for 8 30, and that was just a mission impossible, especially with Cairo going to sleep at like 5 a.m. It is what it is. We're heading to the Batu Caves now. So we're going to check out where we're staying is an Airbnb, so he has to just double check the room, make sure nothing's broken, nothing's dirty. And then um, the driver's coming with her two cars, and we'll get in the car, go to the Batu Caves. So let's get the day going. Back at the Batu Cave. This brings back so much memories. I can't believe it's been five years. But we're here with the family this time. Me and Jarisa have walked up them stairs before. We've climbed to the top and gone into the cave before. Jarisa gonna do that today. I might set myself up for the challenge. Obviously, me being 25 weeks pregnant, I'm gonna try to do a challenge and head up there. I'll get closer and show you guys. Two are sleeping. Kyrie's really tired because obviously he had a late night. Yukari still tired waking up. I'm not going to take the kids up just because um, it's a lot with the trolley. They're sleeping anyway. Javis is going to stay down here, fly the drone. So we're at the Batu Caves. Um, Chesh is going to try to do herself a challenge, which she struggles around Montrose Park, so I don't know how this one's going to work. You're going to climb to the top, Dad? Am I going there? 272 steps. Do you think I can climb these stairs? Uh, water. <laughs> do you think no, I can? I think you can do it. Do you think I can do it? I think you can do it. You're going to be dead, but yeah. <laughs> do you think I can do it? Enough, probably. Do you think I can do it? Halfway. <laughs> Kids are going to be down here. Jarvis is going to get a drone shot. Content creator life. From when I came here last time, there was monkeys literally everywhere, even on the stairs as you go up. But it doesn't seem like there's monkeys anymore. There's more pigeons than anything up close you can definitely tell this is like a top tourist location definitely some of it you should put on your bucket list because this is like a once in a lifetime trip you have to make i'm only ever gonna do it once guys <laughs> look at that so last time i came you weren't allowed to have skirts above the knee and you had to buy sarong so they wrap it for you um i think i'm okay today to be fair i've got a long skirt Obviously, no exposing clothes. So this time my skirt is fine. It's just we have to, me and my sister have to cover our shoulders. You have to cover in the temple. So clearly, these are also showing their shoulders, and they don't allow that. Yeah, but I think it is. I'm okay. Last time when I came here, it was the opposite. 
Really? We're starting the journey. Come on, guys. <laughs> Woo. I'm already tired. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? I'm okay so far. Up there, it all starting to come out. Is that all in the trees? You know what? It actually wasn't as bad. The quicker you go, the quicker. You now get that, that we've top. got energy and some yeah. water. Had to, I had a water break. Get there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Set. We made it. Made it. Dad, how do you find it? That's yeah, it was a challenging to climb. Yeah. Chest. Challenging. I'm good, you know. I'm good. Nah, she's clapping, man. Ron, how'd you find it? <laughs> good, easy. I'm not even swim. Guys, we made it to the top of the cave. You can see there. I actually say this is the god of war. So Hindus believe this. And there's Jade. Jade, how did you find it? Easy. All right, we're going in the cave now. We have like a gift shop over here. As you can see, they have the Malaysian flag. As they actually have more stairs there. But best believe I'm not climbing that. From what I remember, going up those stairs is just somewhere to pray and um, worship from what I remember. I don't know if there's anything been added, but it was I'm, just a tech like Yeah, so to pray. going to temples, I mean, wherever yeah. you go, you're going to pray there isn't it but I mean I'm out of climbing those stairs Cheska yeah I'm done. I've done my challenge for the day, for the day. perfect I think she's not safe so I'm I don't stay safe that. yeah stay I safe. already did 272 steps imagine her water breaks guys I don't actually say that. so this is the Batu cave oh wait it's dropping down a bit in... there's bats in here as well we just read it and this is actually one of the most important shrines temples outside of India so this is one the next most important one which I think is a really cool thing this is basically sig uh, significant for um, the statue of the Hindu god who is Lord Murugan good to know good to know I didn't even know that as well we've done it we're now going down 272 steps up and it's there so, yeah. I did the challenge, 25 weeks pregnant, proud of myself. I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was gonna stop halfway, but took breaks here and there, had some water, felt refreshed again, and it's not as bad when you get to the top, so I did it. Yay, Chess. <laughs> We're just waiting for Javis and the drone now, and my makeup is melting, guys. <laughs> like, wow, look. Look how many birds are in this tree. <laughs> But there's more to see there. I've never actually been there. Like a waterfall and a bridge. Yeah. These are more temples to kind of like worship and pray. There's markets here. I never actually went along this side before, but everything is cheap here. So I just bought the kids some ice. 15 RM is less than a pound. <laughs> monkeys are still there. So we just bought. Oh, look, the monkey's following someone. There's a monkey following someone. There, look. No. Oh, it's got a baby. Look, it's got a baby monkey. Yeah. yeah, it took someone's banana. 